Hello everybody. Oh dear, this could be bad. We're dwarves up against dwarves. It's a Dant. With a good record. And obviously a much, 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 much better team. Because he doesn't have a shithead roller on it. Um, so, the plan here is to uh, win the toss, receive, use the roller to score, and then uh, and then draw. The exciting just try to get a draw plan every game with dwarves. He might with scum a wizard. I don't think he'll be that competitive. Like I've got fucking roller dwarves. He should just be thinking to himself, I am glad <laughs> the Jimmy has the death roller. <laughs> I no need to induce the wizard. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, that's probably where he's from. It wasn't an accent. It was a Teddy KGB impression. It's ah, fun. yes. <laughs> Very aggressive. <laughs> Hello, Squirrel. Hello. I'm bored, and I don't have work today, so I might as well <laughs> torture you while I have the time. He did fucking scum the wizard. He listened to you. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you. Tom Schnees. Damn you. Colin Arian. Fuck off, man. As if he's got a fucking... To get rid of the, rid of the death roller, obviously. He's got a fucking wizard. Yeah, it's Skrull here to yell at SFL players. You can't yell at me, Skrull. I'm ahead of the curve. I'm top boy in uh, SFL. Uh, I might do that later this evening. During, uh... In between a commercial break on Claw. I might uh, take some time to tell people to play their games. Yeah, shout Like Scarmezzo, who needs to play his game against Gdanik. Oh, I'm chat. already I'm already just got distracted by the wind chills to kick. <laughs> 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 what an absolute fucking disaster. It's just well, an instant disaster. You just bang out his uh, troll slayers and you know, get a man advantage of being even but him not having troll slayers, which doesn't actually sound like an advantage, but you know won't be able to cas out your team as easily yeah. with his six extra skills because he doesn't have a death roller. Man, I was fucking pissed off, man. I just distracted myself with the SFL and I've lost because of it. <laughs> Woo! I could have got a draw this game. And now it's a loss. Maybe you'll stop the score and then not score on your drive. That's the other way you can do it, right? That's the other way to get a draw is um, mutual ineptitude. So just aim for that as a new strategy. Yeah, that's what I did with the lizards, to be fair. It was nil now. Yeah. Death roll are so good that they, they made it worse. Isn't that, isn't that great? <laughs> yep. It can, have, it can save up for sneaky git now, though. And it can take pile driver for jokes. Yeah, I would take it. I would genuinely take it. Because of the plus two dirty player. Because there's bad. fuck all, because there's fuck all else to take on a roller. Like I, I took I took fucking piling on on my last one. <laughs> I mean, you could take guard. Well, yeah, after guard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After I mean, the that, best skill. That's what. That's what I mean. Yeah. After, after the best yeah. skill in the game. Yeah. Okay. Skill. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing else. There's nothing else to take. You can save for block, but then how much TV is block? Is it really? It's forty TV for block. I guess you could probably get brawler. Is actually probably since you're doing three Ds anyway. Yeah. Then you and you have juggernaut yeah. already for the blitzes. You yeah. probably just take brawler. Yeah, I'd take brawler. And be okay. Yeah. yeah and brawler's twenty. Like forty TV for double is pretty shit. Oh, come on, say I've got this fame. Mm, Enough. I didn't, probably. No, I didn't. So, four versus three. Not terrible, not diced. He gets the Blitzy Runner, though. 
Yeah, that's pretty fucked, isn't it, with Mighty Blow? Oh, no, no, he has to, yeah, yeah, he has to, he has to take the block, and then he gets it, yeah. So he's gonna blitz the runner. Yeah. But he can't pile on, but he has to tackle, so. Dice. Something, something. Something, 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 dice to fucking death. What a joke. Again. Never lucky. Really, game. Another. Another absolute dicing. Um, are we forgetting any? Honestly, if I didn't get bad, if I didn't have bad dice, I wouldn't get any dice. We need to have. We really need to have a, a Demi versus a Jimmy versus Space Cadet to <laughs> see who gets Flicky. the worst dice. Versus <laughs> Flicky. There you go. And like a dome. You all have to play each other like 20 times, and whoever has the worst record con is confirmed to have worst dice in Blood Bowl. <laughs> uh, well, he just chose the point. He chose the both down. What a loon. What I a mean, fucking loon. I guess he wanted to hit again and didn't want to follow for some reason. Yeah, but fucking blitz this cunt. Like, what the hell? I mean, got a Got a palm. Got blitz a this palm. person. Blitz this player. No, no, Jim. So he's obviously listening because he took a wizard. He just wants to palm. <laughs> Got to, want to palm? Wants to palm your AB9 thick skull long beard. Also, Artemis. <laughs> Artemis can be in for the most diced man in Blood Bowl, can't he? And uh, mm. and Daedal. It was funny Wait, watching what, Artemis what? last night. He, uh, he 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 had a player called Florida Man because of salt. And he made a 1D and it was a skull and he re-rolled it and it was a skull. And the next thing he did in the game was another 1D that was a skull and he re-rolled it and it was a skull. <laughs> and on the last turn of the game, he uh, he was he was hitting with him on the LOS and he rolled a 1 for the foul appearance. So he just literally tried to do three blocks in the entire game. <laughs> and it was four skulls and a foul appearance fail. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Arn had a sure hand to Vigil and uh, used it, diced. Yep. It's really unfair him having skills that do stuff. Like sure hands, the skill that does stuff all the time, it's ridiculous. It is. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frenzy's a good, good skill. Your yeah, Frenzy's a good skill, look. Yeah. I really love how Pitch Invasion makes it so that it takes, like, Ten years and a day for your players to get back up on defense because of how stun math works. <laughs> get on yes. the fucking pitch, Horrendous, isn't it? <laughs> Armor value eight didn't instantly get cast in a dwarf mirror diced. Yep. Everyone knows that if you hit AV eight ever, it breaks if you're playing dwarves. Everyone else, it should hold up invincibly, especially if you're dark elves. It should never break, or humans, it should never break. But dwarves should always break. Yep. That's just fair. It just it's just that's how it is, isn't it? Because everyone else is on the nine. It's like they're yeah. just there that they are the weaklings, and they get. It's like it's like War Dancer hit. It's like how War Dancers have hit in Mighty Blow, Mighty Blow, because they hit every single turn, so they get exactly. all the cows. Exactly. Yeah. And how Skaven have it because they're like, why would I do a three plus dodge when I can just one D you and have a chance to kill you? And you're like, please, please stop, Skaven. <laughs> please stop outmatching me every time I play you. And they're like, nope. We're the diciest team. God, I hate Skaven. <laughs> so miserable. I have played, like, the last time I played them, I played them with Undead, and they just beat the shit out of my entire team. I'm like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do in this case. I'm down four players in six turns. Lose. Fuck lose me. is the answer. Yeah. That's what you're supposed Ugh. to do. What a great game Blood Bowl is, where it's so snowballing, the comeback mechanics all are on fun. Yep. I love Blitz. It's... Ugh. <laughs> I don't have any solutions, though. So. Well, I mean, just... Well, the solution is Games Workshop start caring about their games for some reason, mm. um, where there's no reason to. They're, so because the fan base doesn't seem to want them to. Yeah, yep. fan base mm. seems like actively mad at the idea of them caring about games. They're like, well, it's not, it's a miniatures company, guys. I'm like, yeah, but you're playing the game. Don't you want them to care about the game? But they're a miniatures company. Okay, but <laughs> please stop. <laughs> Yeah, but like it's so frustrating. You want to care them about the game, but they shouldn't want to care. Like you know, a Games Workshop yeah. shouldn't want to care about the game because it's just not worth it, is it? You can pay some poor guy minimum wage and say, right there you go, mate, make some rules, and they know it doesn't matter if it's the best rules ever or the worst rules ever. People will, will buy the models, and it's like it's a sad state of affairs, but it just is what it is. I mean, it's a state of affairs where I've 
basically stated uh, that if Blood Bowl 3 is bad, the community should basically be stating that they should pull the license from Cyanide at this point. They've had three games. They've made one good game potentially out of three, maybe. Blood Bowl 3 won't be a shambles. <laughs> but, like, at that point, they're always de their production of the game is literally always delayed. Like, hilariously so, it is always delayed. Yep. So, at a certain point, I wonder if... But I'm, don't, I'm pretty doubtful the community will be like, Yeah, yeah, maybe we shouldn't let this company keep making this game. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be the ones doing the translation, but I don't think we're going to be there. We're just going to be like, Gotta buy it to support the, the game. Mm -hmm. I'm obliged to spend money on product. Mm -hmm. When it doesn't seem related to the game being good. Whatever. Salt, 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 salt. This is going great. Yeah, a lot of house. A lot of gym house. Yeah, well, you know, as someone from Texas, I'm, I'm really big on terrorism, so... Don't, don't joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not on my stream. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, hope, I hope that non-sequitur was enough, but, uh... No, you can't say anything. Honestly, you just can't, because people will... People, like will do things so don't make any jokes related to that at all don't say the word even <laughs> that you know, word is banned joke about explosives but i i, I no, quickly no. realized yeah i quickly realized how bad that would be within the context yep, of good. we'll just put the pieces together or put the pieces out there so that chat can figure no, it out. No, but, no, uh, no, no. Get in trouble. No, I already no, put pieces out there. No, it's fine. no, no, nothing, 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 <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about Hulk Hogan and continue to make Jimmy. Yeah, the fucking Hogan. Hulk Hogan thing. I was thinking of the Hulk Hogan one. Yeah. 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 Or his purple chest to uh, just talk forever and put jokes out there, just right on the edge, constantly to make Jimmy hair what's left of his hair out <laughs> thanks oh, dude. why dodge away uh, to try and do something next turn maybe i do um i do like how this is two dwarf teams and yet they both have fucking blodge agility forerunners and not enough tackle to deal with it and so it's just the stupidest thing of both teams can potato with their one fast player away from the other team that just can't do anything I mean, I, I especially couldn't because every fucking block I made was a push. And, now he's and he is a wizard, battles. so I guess he can do something. Yeah. Five out of six times he can do something. Oh, shut up, Penemu. Honestly. <laughs> BB3 will actually probably be a financial success if delayed uh, from the development. I'm actually not worried that it will justify making another one based on how Blood Bowl 2 did and the seeming growth. Uh, maybe not sure if it'll meet their projections, but it, the game has seemed to have grown from uh, Blood One, both in terms of tabletop recognition and in the digital space. So I'm not really worried about it doing well financially, for better and worse. The old brainless dwarf player. Everyone punches is there any everyone follows. Yeah. Is there any other kind? I mean they've got guard, how can they ever hit back? There is. There there is there is some more to it, but people never seem to do it. And he's just gonna score to get rid of the death roller. Brilliant. So my misclick completely fucks me. Amazing. What a surprise. Well not misclick, miss misplay. Misclick into uh, Pitch Invasion to the Death Roller was done for the first turn, so you weren't denying LOS. No, it was the distraction, it was the distraction of not fucking... Re I was meant to receive and field him, and then I would have... I would have scored and I would have drawn, and now I'm just gonna lose. Well, I guess now you just have to 2-1 grind against a wizard. <laughs> yeah. And a slightly better dwarf team, though it's... Vastly Pro Slayer better. better. Vastly better so. dwarf team. How much more guard does he have? Three, four, None? five, six, seven. Three, six, None. seven. None more guard. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So but less he, guard. But he's got strength up, and he's got. He's a palm. he's a strength up, and he has a palm. Four mighty blow. Five slayer. mighty blow versus four mighty blow. He's got stand firm. It's a little bit better. 
He's a wizard is probably the bigger thing. He's got a wizard and I've lost my fucking mind. And he's got perfect defense. Oh my god, can I just stop getting diced? I do think I like the perfect defense changes, at least in Blood Bowl, the new edition. I'm not sure about the Blitz change, but the perfect defense at least feels less ridiculous. So that'll be nice. Yeah. Or at least when I've played with it in the three games on Fumble, it's been nice. A touchback would be nice, yeah. I do think people kind of underestimate the chance of a touchback in these situations, but... Ooh, yeah, that trick would be great because you could also put it on the shithead runner and not the agility 4 once so many bolts you have a agility 4 guy for recovery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Karen. He's still my timer. <laughs> I'm not sure strength 4 guy's really doing a great job here because you just move the guard around you get to hit both of them and you get to hit him with mighty blow and he's armor value eight so he's a pretty pretty sweet target is uh strength war guy he is yeah oh ooh. i mean there was no doubt there was no doubt where it was going was there i don't think anyone is surprised at all in the least i mean there were like there was one was place like it could go squirrel two, two and eight chances yeah but squirrel there was one place it could possibly go yeah, that's not how it works. That is exactly how it works. I mean, those pushes are how it works. Yeah, that's I also can't... guaranteed. I have no arguments against Jim Push, Jim Powers. I can't even. I'm trying, and I'm. That that turn made me uh, a block dice. Made me kind of couldn't even get it both down to keep them in place. Hey, got the power there. Kill him. No. Who even recovers? I guess. Ugh. Gross. Cheating with sure hands. Yeah. So, does he, does he fireball here? I hope not. Seems like an okay fireball. Cage based. But his recovery isn't really there. He's probably considering it. Yeah, he should think about it at least. I think if the runner's in, even though eh, fireballing for Kaz is so bad, maybe you don't even if the fuck the runners. Maybe you just ignore the fact that the runners in the cube. Mara damage fireball. There's no plus movement guy for you to kill though, Mara Dam. It's a real shame. I gotta play I played two games of the Blood Bowl 3 beta and the second one I got like I was able to get Morg and a wizard against some guy. And I didn't even get to use the wizard because Morg cast out his roger and troll in the first two turns and he conceded. <laughs> and it was, I had forgotten I had a wizard when he put his entire team in a big old meat cube on the top of the field. And they're like, oh, nope, Morg's just going to make you leave. All right. Yeah, Morg's... Morg's dumb. Yeah, Morg is pretty OP. Really feeling the old penis. Oof. I, I wish I could say it. I, sh I feel bad for someone who got an O out of 5 fireball, but like fireballs are shit, and you should just feel bad for ever having using using one, even though they're not like shit, but they're so bad. I don't know. Sometimes, so sometimes it's the right play to use the fireball, right? Yeah. Sometimes. It's just less often than you would think. Like, you'd think it's designed if they're in an X cage, and it's just not. It's really not what it's there for. Yes, there's times when it's good. There's a surf here, sure. isn't there, which is nice. Yeah. Pretty simple one, too, because he doesn't have stand from on that guy. Yeah. Da, da, da. Could hit him out with the runner. 
and you still have players who can come over. It's gonna be a bit um a bit hairy the next turn, but you know. So be it. And I don't think that guard Ah, oh, he's gonna hit him. Okay, well there you go. Uh, at least you're getting that hit there. No, he's not getting surfed, of course, he's just getting fucking cast, probably. Ah, oh, right, pile on. Nothing. Jim's so lucky not getting instantly obliterated by piling on. <laughs> Imagine a world. Mm. Huh. Oof, oof, oof. Mm. Uh, surf's not on. Mm. Okay. I wonder if there was... Nah, it's... maybe you have to do too much. Do too much asking for pals there. No, I can't do anything but... that I can't do anything that assumes that. I, I was just thinking maybe you do a blitz with the blitzer onto his blitzer and then the, and then he comes in and provides the assist and you can do a block off of the other long beard or something and then follow into I cannot make any play <laughs> that assumes I roll a pal. <laughs> I think it was a push was good enough. Be yeah. I'm guy. just saying, I'm just saying I can't make any roll. Yeah. <laughs> any player that assumes I can succeed any roll. It just isn't yes, possible. Yes, yes, Jim. It just isn't possible. Calm down, Fash. I know. All blocks are pushes. Yep. All 1Ds are skulls. Yep. Never mind, you make a 3 plus dodge. All. Everything fails. Everything fails. See? Everything fails. Yeah. I mean, I definitely did, saw you do two straight 5 plus Soros dodges, and uh, here you're aiming more damage in the second half, but everything fails. Everything fails. We could have played Among Us, Simi, but imagine how miserable he'd be playing Among Us right now. Nah, it takes like half an hour to get the game going. Like, I guess there was two. No, there was only there was only an hour, but it's gonna be fucking two hours because the dance takes a fucking long. <laughs> oh, internet down. Oh, what? Is your internet's down? I haven't noticed. Rick's internet's down. No. Shit. I didn't notice that either, obviously. Rickaroni. Look at that, Demi. Someone you haven't beaten and get to lord over them for all time yet. Just play them once, turn to a coin flip, and half the time you just gotta make fun of them forever. Do it. Ugh. Well, this Not is almost as bad game. as ever playing Bretonians. <laughs> Versus a dent, a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> Very good. This guy could be surfed if he wasn't stand firm. <laughs> no, this is just so fucked, isn't it? Yes, you know, I, I bet you we could say the same thing if he was sidestepped, he'd be, he'd be worse. You know, he is better being on the sideline because he has to stand firm than if he didn't. It's a true statement. Herp, derp, face, 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 arm, armor, value nine. Yeah, this can't I fail. Can There's just literally nothing I can do, it's just fucking annoying. It's all, all just because I wasn't paying attention at the start and fucking went on defense. Oh, could have got a draw. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. He wants to Stop reroll it. like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? He wants to, but he only has two rerolls, so he feels bad about doing it.
just concede. Make that a one. I might just concede. Tato? I mean, Tato is the only player, isn't it? Is there a way to also Blitz's? If there's a way to Blitz's runner, I think it'd actually be a good play. Because it's still towards you're playing against. And his Blitzer is. Both of his Blitzers are far afield. There's no, there's no good place. <laughs> <laughs> there are no good players. Iced. How about me and you to get someone served, I suppose? Stuns at least. Mm. Oh, it's just one this turn. I thought there was another one the previous turn. There was not. Mm. Look at this dice lord rolling one dice pal to the dwarves. Never seen it done before. What a load of absolute wank this is, though. Holy shit. Probably just fireballs these five, right? That's a hell of a fireball. It's a pretty good fireball. Uh, he kind of needs a lot, though, to actually get the ball. But he doesn't need much, I guess, to make the, defense, the offense impossible. Yeah. I think he definitely he ends this half 2 nil if he fireballs here. And gets any kind of result. At least he gets. He at least ends at one nil. He guarantees he's going to the next half, up one. I think. I don't know if he guarantees a two zero. Well, no, of course he doesn't guarantee a two zero, but it's really strong for a two zero. There it is. Oh, he just missed. Well done, Adan, you fucking moron. Wow. Jesus fucking Christ, eh? Yeah, it seems like uh, the second <laughs> worst place for it. I feel like. No, that's the worst place. I mean, it's just, it's strictly pretty... worse. It's strictly worse than one to the left. It's, I think it's also worse than one to the right, yeah. actually, yeah. as well. Yeah, but it's just definitely worse than one to the left. Like, you can yeah. think it's worse than one to the right, but it's 100% worse than one to the left. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Adan. He's a good player, maybe, and he maybe, did that. Maybe he thought um, he hits down players. Yeah, maybe he does, but he shouldn't know that, should he? Like, he shouldn't, he shouldn't know that it can't hit down players. He should know that it can't hit down players. That was terrible. Maybe he just misclicked it. Well, Wizard Bay did his job at least, so nothing makes a draw in the next half. More likely if you can hold us to a 0 1. Which I can't. No Wizard, you can put the ball on agility, four man to potato. He also got three out of five. Well, three out of four technically. <laughs> no armor breaks though, so. And I think with three out of four. Expect an armor break, on, even on Marvel Volume 9, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dimmy missed roll, once, didn't he? Oh, Dimmy missing once. Roll 9, so 10 out of 36, so it's not quite. Not quite. You need four armor breaks to really feel confident you should be getting one. Because Wizards are really good at attrition, guys, I promise. You only need to get four knockdowns on armor Volume 9 to get an armor break. Reliably. Yeah, Ish. Right. But yeah, that's the thing, though. They can be good, right? And the earlier you use them, the more likely they are to be good for attrition so it is a factor that you should factor in but yeah very unlikely to be a deciding factor
that runner needs to move to for him because he can't just leave it there. Just gonna get um smacked by my blow tackle that stays there. Yeah. Or it should. Right, it's a two plus though, isn't it? So he will. Yeah. Oh, he's not gonna move it. He's gonna do this first. All right, just pass everything. Easy. That. Okay. Just do just the three plus. Fail. I what? All right, there you go. That's not what I would have done. Oh, I would have dodged. Good or bad. Okay. I guess it requires committing the blitzer who wants to dodge out to go. Yeah, he freeze him, right? Yeah, freeze him. If he dodges away, then uh, then he freeze my blitzer. He doesn't want to do that. Uh, can't quite clear up the runner to be the assist, but can smack his team a tiny bit and then get a one, do a three plus for a one D. I have no idea what the scoring threat is though. Getting to hit his runner also feels really good for next half chances. Yeah, all I can do is hit the runner. Oh, I fucking did that wrong, never mind. It's okay, fine. Good. 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 Nice. Feel so it really gives you a hit on the runner, it's fine. Oh, this is all just to set up a chain, though, to get a player in this. Okay. Take the. Mm, I guess you don't. I don't. <laughs> I'd certainly lose the will to live, though. I'm really good at that. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Thanks, Con, mate. It's hard to be positive when literally everything you do fails, though, isn't it? And yes, literally does mean figuratively now, so I can say that. It's a great mirror matchup. I've seen so many of these, and they are very interesting games where all the guards smashes together and people roll 2Ds. Uh, uh, that meant to sound more engaging than it is, which is to say, like, slightly engaging. It can be engaging. I... But not this one. Not when you're just down TV and you just don't catch any breaks, and you fucking misplay at the start. Fuck me, like, I'm still mad, like, I knew I was going to be pissed off the whole game because of that, do you know what I mean? How much down TV are you at this point, though? Not to be too contradictory, you're down 50 team value because the, uh... Well, I guess the wizard's wizard's off and, his, and his wizard's gone. Yeah, so I'm down 200, I guess. That Well, that's down 50 now, because that was it's 180 or whatever, plus the guard on it, that's off the field. And then... That's the difference, the 50 team value on this. Oh, he scummed a wizard, didn't he? Yeah, he scummed a wizard, yeah, but he's used the wizard. Mmm, so. okay, so you're... The teams are just more even than... It wasn't like a straight 150 then thing. So you're probably down a bit more. Yeah. Actual team value. Yeah. You missed the roll. It wasn't very on for very long, you know, and I fucked up. I miss. I just wasn't paying attention because I was talking about fucking SFL and then I kicked without thinking. And if I received, I'd probably score, right? Because I've got a bowler, I've got three dice as things. But now I get two failed offences and, and a failed defence and I'm just completely fucked. Hey. 
I am... I don't... I guess he could just blitz through. Could, oh! Mm -hmm. He can't. He can't blitz through now. Yeah. I have nice no score. idea how Jim scores. Let's but, go. Uh, His blitzers can score. Like, I don't know how he's going to do it, <laughs> but he can. He, it, he technically is. A, look at that, a pow. Unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> hello. Nice. Good thing you rolled double skulls. I, yeah, you can't apple that, even though it's, uh, cause it's just a shitty blitzer. Scatter is fine. I think that's also a scoring threat, so he can't really score anymore, can he? No, he can't. So it's definitely really going to the half. Going. I don't think he actually can score at all. Alright, so you're going to the half drawn now. Yeah. And he's out the wizard. Or down, sorry, going to the half down one. The chance to be drawn. Yeah. Okay. So is this just. I just got to dodge. Varieties. I've just got to dodge. No, no. Uh... I have to dodge. Yeah, you will have to dodge. Try again. But you can also um, get the runner possibly not to be a recovery option. Look at that. No, only a stun. How many GFIs does he have to do? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 1. He's in range, right? Good. I have a guy out to be a relay, I guess, if needed, then Jilly Four Man. Push is actually quite fine. Do I go here and then next turn one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. You can actually be one square back, I think. And that way it forces the dodge to be a five plus, I guess, from the long beard. As opposed to yeah. is it four is a four plus two plus harder than a five plus? Or is it the same? Uh with a re roll, I don't know. <laughs> Probably more rolls is better with a re roll. Mm-hmm. I could also just do a GFI now, so that obviously no reroll, but one, two, three, four. Then it's a handoff, right? So it feels that it's probably. Bad. Or I could just pass this turn as well. I think I'll just go there and pass. Oh, just throw it up there. So not, it's, yeah, because I guess if it's um. Because if it goes back, I can just run and pick it up. Pick and it up and do anyway. it. Yeah. And it's this, you know, he scatters forward, this is... That's like the worst of all worlds. Yeah, yeah. But that the, was like the, the one where that's bad. Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just like, those were the two bad scatters. The yeah. rest were all much better. Though honestly, even that one's okay. It's now just a GFI for the runner if you have to, but... I still think that's actually probably correct. Getting the pass done early is nice. Yeah, trying it is okay, isn't it? Because by going forward, even if it had gone behind him, one, two, three, four, five, six, just a GFI and it passes, isn't it? So it's not that much work. This harder. also makes it so that um, there's really very little a daunt can do to pressure, put pressure around the ball, if that makes any sense. Like, it's just, you're just going to be able to have the option to get there and do stuff with the ball. Yeah. Like, there's not really, you can't, like, hit the runner, get it down, and make you do 15 million rolls just to get the ball. <laughs> Yeah. There's none of that's off. No, that's yeah. on anymore. It's yeah, just... exactly. Yeah, that was the thing, right? If he, if he dodges him out, GFIs three, four. Yeah, dodge out double GFI power, then I'm fucked, aren't I? Yeah. Which, which, like, it's quite high odds of that. Like, it's literally quite high odds. So, <laughs> like, it's fucking crazy how like how likely, unlikely things it's like, are. It's like it's a seventy. It's basically a seventy-five percent into a two plus with a chance for with a five plus power, which is not unreasonable. It's a, it's like a hard leap, basically. So, I, I don't think you would. Doing a four plus on your own is probably worth it. 
I, I, mm, if you have the reroll, it's definitely worth it. I, maybe if, maybe it's not so much worth it if you don't have the reroll. Well, if you have the reroll, then I probably if I have the reroll, maybe I just GFI to get him into hand of mm. range next turn. Maybe he's even two GFIs to get out of range of him blitzing. Yeah. So like double GFI there, maybe. Oh yeah, he pumps him, yeah. Alright. Oh, wanna? Is this a wanna? No, I haven't got good. Shit. Runner removal would be annoying for the upcoming turn, but uh... He needs to pile it up. Ooh, does he want to pile it on? Yeah. I guess... Piling on that, I think, is actually wrong. I think piling on that player is better than the hit on the hundred ninety nine. But yeah, yeah, I would have piled on hundred percent. Doesn't this guy this doesn't matter? This guy doesn't matter at all. Yeah, I mean, just in the most naked sense, this is a chance. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, it's I, non mighty yeah. blow instead of mighty blow on armor eight. So on AVA, yeah. and that was also that was you had to roll two dice to get the armor value hit. So like, yeah, neither yeah, of those players are relevant to the upcoming score. Yeah. So if you got him knocked down. So yeah, yeah. This yeah, guy's yeah, not, just, not relevant at all. So, so yeah, so, you should just, you should pile on there. Pile on. Every I guess time. it spares him a hit the next turn, but all right. so two two three two two. Yeah. All right. Easiest, Good wizard, dickhead. Easiest score of my life. Whoa. What a good wizard. Yeah. Spent it, didn't even stop the score, didn't get pressure on. That is that is a tilting result because even he had even had the ball on hand and he could not stop the score. Yeah. That is sick. Require a lot of dice, but it happens. It's a great result. Yep. He's down a blitzer too, so he's down a player. Yeah, he's still got 11 yeah. though. Still got 11, but. Yeah, the last turn, the last turn, and like the last few turns were pretty ri were pretty rickish, weren't they? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it all went to ratchet for a few turns, but then uh, the last few turns were rickish. Yes, claw after this though, yeah. Well, and Rick's game, right? Rick's in a game, but Rick's on turn two, but he'll probably be done before me, <laughs> seeing as I'm against a dant. <laughs> Dude. Brainless LOS. Fucking blitz. Oh my Oh my god. God This has been maybe the biggest set of ridiculous kickoff events <laughs> you've had in a little bit. Just, yeah. Uh Pitch Invasion stuns the best stuns the the joke but best player. Perfect defense on offense, blitz on the second one. <laughs> Blitz, which oh, yeah, in this case is basically perfect defense. I guess the the uh, blitzer being out for him means he does have to field the uh, other runner. So now he has four armor value eight players on the field, which is pretty high for dwarves. Five, nice. right? Because of the strength foam. Does he have two? He only has one runner, so it's four, right? Oh well, you play the runner on defense anyway. I thought you said yeah, he's got to play the extra runner, the extra troll slayer, right? Yeah, the extra Slayer. He had the Slayer on in the, you said slayer runner, on the bench. I, th I, th I thought you said uh, extra runner. I, I, might, I think I said an extra aviator. I might have said it. I think it said Blitzer because the Blitzer was out. Yeah, I, I think might have. I think you said, said runner. extra runner. Yeah, so I was like, oh, he's going to have four plus him. Because <laughs> 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 I just saw the Slayers. Yeah. I hear runner, but uh, saw Slayers. Well, this, and that Slayer is, is really bad. That naked Slayer is really bad in this matchup. Yeah. Yeah, because his frenzy is a is a nega trait, mm -hmm. as it were. He's just a shitty assist, basically. That's all he is. Yeah. He's can't, he's not going to be blitzing very often. Oh god. That's what this guy's here to do is to go into two into ones. 
<laughs> Natural AV break. Oh, it doesn't even get Ooh. a Oh, instant apple. That's right, the game doesn't allow you to pile on on KOs, even though you technically should be able to. And there are probably times when you would like to, I think. What? Pile on a cat? Uh, pile on KOs. You'd want to pile on KOs. You can on, pile um... on KOs. Oh, can you? Okay, yeah. I guess. I do okay. it all the time. <laughs> I mean, morally, you shouldn't because you know you should be. Uh... <laughs> you you shouldn't be. Uh... You should have to pile on KOs because you know you should pile on every time. But you can. Mm. You don't have to. But you should have to. It's the spirit of pile on, isn't it? Always pile on. Yeah. Kill all men. It is going to be interesting seeing what a massive online league looks like that isn't played by people who like Blood Bowl, but people who just picked up the game, which is what Blood Bowl 2 has always been, and see what that's going to look like without people being able to play in a manner that induces concedes to pile on. <laughs> Sorry, in a matter that encourages concessions. Inducements is a whole other problem. Jim's not a bully, he just has banging ways. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. GFI. Just gotta stay here then. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Ghoul Gate? What about Ghoul Gate? Hello, Elite. This, been, this game has been horrendous. Fucking horrendous. Yeah, the fouling buffs will just make games a fucking lottery anyway. Dice first. Yahtzee. Yeah. Uh, that was the one we forgot earlier when we were doing all of the, uh, the stable of dicing complaints. We forgot the Yahtzee one. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy. Always another one in nine. Uh, my jumper is purple. Or... Jim Powers, <laughs> Daunt getting blue. diced. Yeah. Comedy mega dicing <laughs> for a Daunt. Wizard didn't work. My jumper's got a per got a Blitzkrieg dwarves, not a team that can actually take advantage of it. <laughs> what a joke. Got a pitch invasion. How unfair can it be? Got a pitch invasion that tricked him into scoring and removing the roller and ending the half 1-1 one -one instead of 1-0. <laughs> Oh, Troll Slayer's a piece of shit, look at that. Yeah, he's only got two rerolls. Does he accept Another it? one and nine. Oof. Re wow. Well, that makes him scoring a lot less likely. Yeah. Wow, a bit. A bit less. Not as less likely since he has agility four than it would be for most cases. Or... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the fact he's got that. But he's down. Now. Being down uh, to only one blitzer probably does. For that seems not reactive as it is but yeah i don't know i feel like two rerolls is probably the right number for dwarves but it can feel kind it's definitely of three gross yeah it's definitely three if you want to win if you want to get a good record you have to have three because you can just draw too many games that you should have won that's my mm -hmm. opinion but then i guess it depends how good you are right so like if that extra 50 tv is getting you better matchups overall which is which is helping isn't it but i think for 50 tv it's it's just worth having it because it's just so easy to like roll some dub skulls and then yeah. fucking not win a game that you should have won but there's also um and i think we've seen it a bit in this game actually is there are times where you the third reroll isn't just there for um being safer it's also let it was letting him do some it let him do some greed stuff with that palmer as well to push an advantage yeah and there are definitely blocks in the first three or four turns where he wanted to reroll it. Yeah. He wanted to go for prowess and he just couldn't. Yeah. You could see it with the delay, he just couldn't take the but he couldn't do it because I had two rerolls. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What a fucking banger. <laughs> Fuck you and your banger ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Couldn't bang out Nick. Nick is unbangable, but Yeah. Oh man, Shawnee Shawnee's unfuckable clip is glorious. Yeah it is. Yeah. 
still has his Apo, but it's the second half, so having an Apo is kind of bad unless you use it on a KO. Or, it's not bad, it's just like, whatever, it's just kind of whatever compared to the first half. Yeah. It's weird. You do a Blitz. Obviously you Blitz the Twat back at CI for... Yeah, no. Nice blisters. Glorious. Who needs Mighty Blow? Except that it would have um, got in a removal. <laughs> Who needs it? I'm gonna hit the top magnet though. Of course. <laughs> See, if you had done it in the other order, you would have uh, gotten Pow and a removal on the stand firm. But because you did it in the correct order, you got punished. That's how dice works. That's how you should think about dice. It is, um, yeah. Dio is somewhere wanting to scream, and he doesn't know why. But, <laughs> um... Wow, some good removals as well. A removal, a good, good armor breaks, I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Like, good stuns. Badly hurts, which yeah, yeah. is no good. I mean, this is turn 8. This is an automatic app, but now it feels kind of like... You might not ever see the player again. Yeah, yeah, What's you don't want all this because you save for a perma or a KO now. Um, no. Right, these two stuns shore up that side. So I guess he just goes in there. Mm, yeah, be annoying to uh, Troll Slayer, man. Yeah, those two sons are great. They're actually amazing. It's also nice how they, they like dramatically flip over when you break armor, so it's really obvious. <laughs> and it'd be such a shame if they removed that in future games. The yeah. dramatic and like really rhythmically like where there's a nice rhythm to the results. They show the flip over and then the armor result and all that kind of stuff. It'd be it'd be great. Yeah. Especially if they like showed the dice rolls on screen. Won't it be great if you like Clicked the pow, they knocked over, the roll happened, and then they flipped over if it broke, and then they rolled it again, and then the cast symbol showed up. That'd be great. Yeah, it would. You'll yeah. get used to it. <laughs> like, it's fucking stupid, isn't it? That, like, a miniature game can do something better than a video game. Like, I fucking hate that. And they, like, acted like they can do it better than the video game, and it's like, fuck off. Like, the guys being face down is obviously better than them being face like you know like that's just a clear upgrade yeah. isn't it they just they were just fucking lazy they didn't want to have to fucking model them lying face down so they just did we'll do them face up with the fucking the stars it's fucking dog shit fucking lazy motherfuckers <laughs> ah is the runner gonna come through now i hope so he'll get banged out if he does well, he's got to hide him. Right? Rather okay, than the runner, through, he's got to hide runner isn't. Yeah, runner isn't coming through. No, he's got, he's got to hide him. If he didn't hide if he your runners. The, if he had pushed that uh, long beard to the other side, I think the runner could have. The runner could have come through, but it looks like it's not he going just, to. He just that can't. He can't come through. He's just getting fucking banged, isn't he? By Mighty Blow, if he yeah. comes through. He's got to actually run him away now, so he doesn't get banged by Mighty Blow. <laughs> It's it's a trap blitz to remove his uh, most important player for getting turning this into a win. It's actually a trap if you to commit that much. Yeah, you see, yeah. see, see. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Oh, what this? is this blitz? One into oh, one. Oh, it's a one into a two. Okay. One into one. No, it's one into a one. Yeah. But now he's not based by players anymore. So it was actually it it's like doing assist. two three plus dodges. Gives me assist yeah. now for that, so I can bang Oop. him. Mm-hmm. And actually also clears up to a better control as other Slayer now too. So other Slayer can now get isolated. Freeze my well. freeze my blitz. Eh? Freeze my blitz. Well. Yeah. Yeah, the blitzer can come in to provide assist. The uh, yeah, that other Slayer can now get super control without having too much resources given up. Because you're he's just you're down your carrier, but he's down a player. He doesn't have guard. Hmm. It's 
It's also remarkable how nice the game plays and you don't have to hit a verify button all the time. <laughs> yeah. I can blitz him and then do an extra block. That's pretty that's pretty sick, isn't it? An extra mighty blow hit too. Yeah. At that. Unlucky, not removing armor value weight every time you hit it. Pretend we care about scoring at some point. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's a shame. It's a shame the game has a ball so you can't just do war. <laughs> yeah. It can't be just be a fantasy miniatures battle game where you just hit each other with like really convoluted assist mechanics. I'm sure everyone would love that. I do. Battle Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically the same thing, right? With the surround bonus and everything. It's like assists. It's really nice. Need to have the awkward and complicated This is a weird block for him to have paused on. Don't know. Maybe he's just why thinking. He's thinking. Maybe he's just wants more thinking time. All right. He picked the one of two obvious squares. Yeah, I just think one and more thinking time for I guess. Where he's, where he's, he's one square or movement. Whatever, or whatever. Whether he's going to stand up the troll slayers or I don't fucking know. Likes to think, doesn't he? Likes to fucking think. Some might say it's actually a good thing to try and think, but then I watch K folk play and I, uh. It seems like it, thinking is bad. You should just <laughs> instantly turn your time. Once your turn timer comes up, just start moving. Yeah. It's pretty rude. Pretty rude to me, yeah. Yeah, no one wants you to think in a strategy game. <laughs> Fuck you and your thinking ways. Imagine if you failed to jump up and just got his runner banged out. Might still be able to find never fails. Yeah, you can still bang it out, to be honest. Maybe. I mean, he also so kind of has to palm with the Slayer fuck now. Fuck you. Oh. No, he doesn't. Fuck you and your banging ways. Oh, well, this guy's really dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Movement 3, agility 1, guard. You can still throw him on the LOS. My brain is a bit... Unironically, you can still just put him on the LOS until I mean, he actually can, but dies. He's, he's not. <laughs> he's terrible, yeah. <laughs> so bad. What a joke that dwarves can just be like, yeah, yeah, I I've taken two perms, so I'm just gonna stand and get punched some more. I'm just as good at that. <laughs> it's fine. So, I mean, it's why even old world alliance, as bad as the dwarves are, you still take them just their armor value nine and pixel. You just put them on the LOS and go whatever. It's better than the rest of the team getting hit, even with their garbage skills. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny that that's that's true. Imagine what dwarves would look like if they didn't have, if they actually was the change, they all got brawler instead. They weren't it wasn't just old world alliance dwarves that somehow got like the shitty bad dwarves. <laughs> in, a, in our spirit of cooperation and teamwork, we will send you the shit dwarves we didn't want. The <laughs> shit dwarf factory. Oh, They're horrible at everything we do, but you know. It's all we're willing to give you. One day our evaluate will break. But not this day. There you go. Oh, 
Bang him out. Go on. Go on. Motherfucker. Wait, is the bashiest armor? It's fine. <sighs> Does he... No, it's a, it's a 4 plus 2 minus 2. He doesn't, he doesn't do it. Fuck me. Needed mighty blow, apparently. I'm not gonna fucking foul with a blitz. <laughs> <laughs> I did that kind of J5 when I was playing Chunter in uh, Rebel. I was like so fucking pissed off I just wanted to lose the game. So I just, I just ran around with my ball carrier and fouled. <laughs> and got sent off and lost the ball. <laughs> and, then, and then and then Chunter like rolled a double one after he picked it up. He rolled a double one on the dodge away. And then like killed his gutter runner. And then like just left me loads of hits. And I just slaughtered his team and won anyway. <laughs> Literally attempted to throw the game and failed to throw the game. It's gonna be one of the funniest games I've ever had. <laughs> as you can see, uh, Jim is definitely the most dice man in Blood Bowl, as that story relates to, and as uh, codifying everything he said in the first half about being the most dice man and ever being lucky. Absolutely true. Exactly. He couldn't even lose when he wanted to. Yeah, exactly. How dice can you get? That's the true measurement of dicing. Not whether or not you got good dice, but whether you got the exact dice you wanted it at the time you wanted it. Yeah. I also I, got I, diced in a game that I wasn't in, which was a first. If you remember the Elliot game where he uh, he went to overtime after something ridiculous happened, and then because he went to overtime, he got, uh, he got tackle on his killer, which I thought was going to win in the game against me, but uh, I got lucky in that one. Um, don't tell anybody. <laughs> 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 Jim's so dice he gets diced in a game that he wasn't playing, but then gets lucky in games where he did play. Mm. Just ridiculous. Proving his prediction that he got diced less accurate. How diced can you be? Exactly. Diced. <laughs> yeah, the game where my opponent went AFK and he started doing better when he was AFK because my ball cast himself. <laughs> doing the gym. Because I had to do the cheer fight to score. He literally did better when he was AFK. Amazing. God, I hate this Pommer. It's really annoying. I can't hit him and he just jump ups every turn. But this is a bit tricky, this one. He might just have to stand here. This no, no, he'll, he'll, he'll do it. He'll just jump up and go into a frenzy opportunity. This is a full frenzy trap, though. This is into uphill. Doesn't care. Does it anyway. He'll uh, pile on to, so you can't hit him so. back. I mean, of course he will. But it's fucking annoying that it wasn't a, wasn't a push. Will he uphill. actually not pile? No, he should, he should definitely pile, because otherwise he, just gets, he actually gets just smashed in the face across the whole other one, anyway. Yeah. yeah, there you go. See so if you can get a stun, at least. No. Right. I actually might have considered doing a 4 plus dodge there without Longbeard because he's not doing anything. Just facing one up there for all time. Mm. So. I can understand not doing it, but I do think that's worth considering doing the 4 plus there. Because your guard might bloom marking a shithead Longbeard does not feel worthwhile. No. However, I'm going to give him something. You're going to GFI fail your blitz with Mighty Blow? Yep. Now I'm going to do this. Motherfucker. Oh, I pushed him in the wrong square, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I will find.
How long until he actually does the four plus dodge to hit your carrier? Or a two plus. Well, you're gonna tackle, so it's not that good, but nice pushes. Every fucking block's been a push. You don't watch enough uh, JFW, you don't know who the co host is. It's, it's right there on the screen, and I'm not gonna help. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just feel like being a dickhead for like two minutes. <laughs> oh, two seconds. Damn you, Carnite. <laughs> Look at you being a. saying something meaningless. Giving away useful information. Ridiculous. You big Griant nerd. <laughs> nerd! <laughs> oh, that was such a good quote. Oh, this is fucked now, isn't it? I'm gonna have to take it all next turn, probably. Oh man, imagine Tay doing with an Agi Ford Blodger. No one would ever do it. Against a team that has one mobile tackle. <laughs> oh, how unfair can you get? Yeah. I like how he just, he rolls double pals after like all of those pushes. <laughs> Infinite pushes. I was asking chat, dickhead. <laughs> to me, to you. Imagine, yeah. imagine talking to chat and not talking to the people who are talking to chat. Ridiculous. I know. It would be nice if the Pommer failed the jump up ever, wouldn't it? Yeah. He, d I think he did fail one in the first half. He did, so yeah, and it some... was actually critical because it was a surf. But you know, yeah. it would also be nice if he failed one this half. <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice if I think that was a three plus roll. Actually, felt like a three plus roll and not a two plus. Yeah. It's crazy, but it is in fact a three plus roll. <laughs> this caused is a douche. <laughs> I never to be anything other than that, so uh, I'll, I can live with that. It's, a, it's an upgrade from Big Grian. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> oh, fuck off! He never fails! Is it into an, an actual up up? Yeah. Yes. It's at least a one. It's another frenzy opportunity. And he wants to reroll it, because I think he realized it. No, no. It's just a 2-2-2. Two, no, two, two. it's a 2-2-2. Two, two. So why? Okay. Uh, I'd rather be a douche than a big grind nerd. Sat there. Lots of, lots of rich and famous people on are douchebags. <laughs> there are lots of rich, big, giant nerds too. I mean, Steve That's Ballmer's true. a giant nerd. Yeah. He's a billionaire. Yeah. yeah big sweaty point. nerd. Good point. I forgot about. I forgot about the rich nerds. Yeah. <laughs> The real trick these days seems to be like a giant nerdy douche, like uh, Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. That seems to be like the real thing you want to be. <laughs> Just be a giant nerd who's a complete uh, douchebag. That's what you want. Because you can make, have the skills to make the money and not feel bad about all the things you need to do to get that. <laughs> don't kill him, don't kill him, don't. Fuck off! God <laughs> damn it! Dodge off your runner, you silly boy. Okay. Just roll pals. That works too, I guess. Follows. Alright. I don't know why we followed. <laughs> There's the four plus dodge. He's waiting. No, he's not. Oh, or not. Never mind. And he's following, obviously, because this is going to do fuck all to him. Yeah, just going to be pushes. <laughs> Some rich people are skilled. Some are related or no skilled people. I guess that one day could be worth it for the pair. Got a dodge in there. Okay. I meant with the um, long beard on the strength four. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it after this though, right? This is more important yeah. to get him. Do I GFI again? 
two rerolls, three turns, you're scoring next turn, probably. Because he only has one runner and one blitzer, so... Not that I'd give that away to a Don, but you, I, in my opinion, you should probably just score next turn if you can, because you're in range anyway, and... It's going to get hairy if you don't. Oh yeah, I'm definitely like scoring as soon as I can to just try and not lose. I'm not sure if that is now. There it is. me. Can't wait for him to get a riot and get a three turn chance to score. Yeah. Most dice man in Blood Bowl couldn't make a five plus four plus. Diced. Unbelievable. Man, it'd be, I bet you he'd like to have like a runner that was unbased right now, so he could go and do stuff. Be good. <laughs> Especially if he had like a mobile, a relatively mobile assist with like a three plus or something. It'd be really great if that runner was ahead of the ball. I don't know how it would have got in there though. Yeah. Also, unironically, that Slayer's in a really annoying square form. <laughs> he wants that Slayer to be anywhere else. He wants that runner to be with that. That's always a, that is a fun thing you get in Blood Bowl that I do like. Um, I had this, I've had this recently when I thought I played is you have a, one of your own players that isn't the square you want them to be in, and then, but they can't be there because you have a player that needs to move through their square to get where they need to go. And it gets really awkward. Yeah. Ugh. Kind of, Wolf, yeah. I mean, hopefully it does, right? Hopefully this is the draw now. And, you know, if you, might, you might fail something early here and might give us the win. There's a chance, depending on how aggressive he is with it. I mean, getting two on the ball is a little... Well, I guess it, well, you can do it with Frenzy, I suppose. Well, you can get a 1D with Frenzy. Getting two on the ball is a little tricky. Because of the guard positions here. Is this Maybe the you can do a 1D. Ball too. Yeah, I think it might be perfect. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you can... That's actually... That maybe works. It's not that good, is it? Like, it doesn't really do a lot. That's why I felt yeah. like I'd do the extra one, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe... Uh, hmm. I'm trying to... Maybe you have to do the GFI, you have to do the 1D or something with the, uh, with the Blitzer to get room up so you can get more guards in there or something. Maybe that's what you have to do. And also to clear up space to Blitz from the other square, because this doesn't seem to do that much. I mean, it's good. Well, hey, Dub Skulls! Finished an entire Rebel season okay, in the time this game has taken about in here. the you second have to half alone. This, but I guess we're gonna take all the time we need to. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Mario. What like a be all? <laughs> this has taken forever, hasn't it? Oh my god! It's not ten, an hour and fourteen minutes. It's been a while. Especially as I'm a fast player as well, right? It's... So does he one day? Yeah, he one days then blitzes with a runner, I guess. Is it Chippendale the Chipmunks or the uh, the Res dancers? Rescue Rangers. So I'd rather be compared to the dancers, to be honest. No, the Rescue Rangers, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Trees in next season's playoffs. Is there a is there a stall here? Uh, I mean, there is one. Probably, is it any good? Where you guys like? Mm, well, maybe he's not a uh, powered. Pushes me away from tackle though, which is nice. Nice of him. <laughs> I honestly want. Mm, yeah, I honestly wonder if him just doing GFI to stand in front, like two to the right, might have been better there. But nah. he hasn't got a rear roll though, has he? So. Yeah. He's scared. Ah, oh, okay. So now it's... Hmm. A 1D for a push, and then if it fails, a 3+, plus, 2+. Plus. Can you make it better than that? Mm 
Let me make it a 2D maybe with the GFI and a POW. So 50 50, you can make it a. Well, I guess you need to push and make it two GFIs to make it a 2 DD. For it to be a 2 plus instead of a 3 plus 2 plus. I suppose that's worthwhile with a reroll. Can't she the play, guys? Be amazing, guys? I can't she the play. I don't see a stall on. I'm just looking at. I was looking Cause at. I need the power, right? I can blitz him and then run him in and then two D him. But no, no, I can't even two D him then anyway. Fuck it. I'll just do go for the one D. I was thinking you could. uh block the blitzer and have the runner come in to be the assist to make it a minor, make it a 2 db the with the runner blitz problem is the push here just doesn't do anything it's still, it's just crap. Yeah, it's time yeah i've got time dice time fuck off At least it's hard for him to score. Anyway, ish. Those were some rules. Two, one, one, four, one. Yeah, not much I could have done there. It is hard for him to score. He has to get this, uh, he has to do it with the Blitzer, with the long beard, and a lot of GFIs. Yeah, it's very No one's ever scored doing GFIs, though. Jim would never do it. Jim would never roll, like, three GFIs to score. Never. Three or four, even, in one turn. Ridiculous. <laughs> Another 28 in 10. Really game. Rare, aren't they, when there's uh, more 28 in 10? Like, ones like that are pretty rare. Mm hmm. I don't know how rare. I don't know if. Better! <laughs> is around to uh, tell us. But. Better! <laughs> Actually, I've been 20 out of 10 times would be. Pretty incredible to ever have that happen to you. It'd be so unlucky. Mm. No. <laughs> no. Yes, I'd horrendous dice this game. Five percent of the time. It's been it's been a uh, it's been a mutual dicing. He's uh, he's had all the good kickoff events and um, jump up dice, <laughs> and he got a death roller sent off because Jim misclicked, which is pretty pretty fortunate. Jim playing bad. That's good luck. And <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess that's just I'm only saying good things. But I think he also had something bad happen. I just don't remember what it was. No, I didn't. Played shit with his wizard, didn't he? <laughs> oh yeah, he picked up. He was able to pick up both his wizard, and then he rolled dub school, so he couldn't do a, a minus two D to not do anything. I still don't know what the what the plan there was, but anyway. I mean, he just did a shit wizard because he just literally missed with his wizard, didn't he? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, playing bad is also unlucky. So. No, no, he was just shit. I was unlucky. <laughs> No, no, that's not how it works, Jim. When I play bad, it's me being unlucky. When my opponent plays bad, it's me being lucky. So, skill is just luck. That's that's why the game's actually fifty-fifty. No, no, uh, it's, no, it's the other way. No, no, it's the other way around. Every time I do something good, it's skill. Whenever my opponent does something good, it's luck. Right? That's how it works. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. But yeah, that's why the game is a, is a coin flip. Um, because skill is just part of luck. Yeah. Everyone is, that's that's the natural result. Logical train of saying that form, you know, people would have played different play well on different days. Or play better on different days. Yeah. So uh 
your opponent plays better, that's just you being unlucky. Because they could have played worse, and they didn't. So how unlucky can you get? Yeah. This is a one or isn't it? But I can make it a two. I need the power. Good. I could one D him. One D, one D, pal, passing the end zone. Sure. I can't really pass in the end zone. I could one D pal and then double yeah, yeah, yeah. GFI yeah. him in for two D. Oh, I'm I sure think that would be the recover. I was thinking that'd be the recovery guy because I'm a crazy person. I'm going to thinking how to score and win. I'm going to try the one D because it's only on a one. It's bad. Yeah, good. Cyanide beating, you and I beating people is going to be way more common in Blood Bowl 3, where there's just a giant menu bar of options of information you want to see but can't. He's the recovery look. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, now you fucking make the dodges, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you can kill him. Stunned. How unlucky can you get having... See, this is the kind of dice we have to think about, is um, not just that Jim didn't get a removal, but he didn't get a removal because he's playing dwarves. How unlucky. You're playing <laughs> team with fixed goal, and you rolled that dice. E it's all bad luck. That was pretty good. <laughs> plus touches. See, uh, now the dice log is going to show that Jim was really lucky with his dodgers, even though he failed the most important one, because the dice log is very useful and relatably tell, reliably tells you exactly what happened, and you can just look at your dice log. Yeah. For all information regarding dodge percentages and block dice and armor bricks. Yeah. Especially the armor bricks. The armor bricks are very easy to read, and everyone can make sense of what it's actually telling oh, yeah, you. Yeah, that's the worst. That's the worst. It puts it puts your armor rolls, like the armor rolls that your players make in your dice. It's like the stupidest <laughs> thing ever. So, like, elves that roll a one for every dodge that they make, and then six for every armor roll that they make. <laughs> Looks like they've rolled loads of sixes, and their dice are equal, but their whole team has been actually killed, <laughs> and they've failed every dodge. <laughs> like, it's so fucking stupid that it just makes the d6 rolls completely irrelevant, other than to be like, hmm, yes, the game's RNG looks like it could be real. It looks like a normal distribution that I can accept, um, even though, of course, it's like... Just fucking stupid. I don't know what that. Yeah, I don't know what that normal distribution means, but it, it seems to. Well, exist. not a normal distribution. Like uh, that's actually a statistical term, isn't it? Normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a bell curve. It, it looks like. It, yes, it, but no. I, what I meant was a reasonable. A reasonable. That looks like a reasonable distribution of dice to me. I guess I can be satisfied now that this RNG works. Is that's all it's there for, isn't it? Like it's just fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. There you go, a draw anyway. Should have won that, I think. He, mo he rolled a lot of uh, dice to make me roll dice, and I still just needed, like, what, a 3? A 3 plus a three to make it a 2 plus, and then a 3 2 with dodge as well. So. Yeah. I, hmm, I, wa I still wonder if it was better to have taken the 2D two, two on that Blitzer and then use the on runner to go and provide an assist on his runner and make it a 2 dice Blitz out for your runner, and then it's just a 2D into a two plus. Yeah, I need to power him though. No, yeah, I don't. Could do that the push. Oh yeah, it's that probably was better. Two GFOs. That probably was better, yeah. Maybe. It's maybe better. No, it probably was better. I didn't even think of it. There you go. Anyway, blah blah blah. Draw. Dice happened. Another Great. fucking draw, man. This is horrible. It's just, this is the thing, like, because the fucking roller dwarves are shit. Like, ultimately, you know, as much as they're a meme team. They are shit. Um, like the roller is shit, and unfortunately, um, and that means that you get loads of draws because you can't win because you've got a massive fucking hundred. Because you, yeah, because you have you have one hundred eighteen value that's only on for half the game because you can't like roster bribes. So. Yeah, Eleven so. seven one is pretty bad, I suppose, for a chalice record. Yeah.
yeah, three draws out of the last four. And they could have all been wins, honestly. They could have all been wins. That's the sad thing. Like, if I didn't have a roller, then maybe they all are wins, as much as the roller was actually quite good against the Wizards and the uh, Camry. Without a Wizard, maybe. Like, you know, with, without the roller, with it more TV efficiency, maybe. maybe. Uh, you know what? Wins. While we're talking about Cyanide UI, well, if you before, go back... No, no, not, not, not that. I've got to finish the YouTube video. Right, thanks mm. for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.